people i'm bharat acharya welcome to a new video so in today's video i'm going to teach you 8255 data transfer modes also called handshaking i'm sure if you've read a little bit about 8255 you come across this word it's the best feature of 8255 this is the reason why you've learned 8255 that it can provide handshaking i'll tell you one thing once you understand this uh you'll be damn proud of yourself next time you connect a pen drive or any kind of device on your computer or transfer data into any sort of uh, io device you will know in the background what's going on of course this is a 40 year old answer today things have gone much better more advanced but the basic concept of handshaking remains the same and that's the concept you're going to learn now a255 as you know has three ports port a port b port c they work in three different modes mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 mode 0 is called simple io so that's what you're going to start with mode 0 there is nothing to explain in mode 0 it is simple io so there is no handshaking the advantage is all three ports are available drawback there is no handshaking so the reliability of the transfer is poor mode 1 handshaking io mode 2 is called bidirectional handshaking io now here let me just give you an idea both mode 1 and mode 2 do handshaking who does handshaking better no nothing of that sort both do the same handshaking is that clear people have weird ideas about mode 2 mode 2 is the same as mode 1 the only difference is when you are in mode 1 a port which is programmed in mode 1 will do handshaking in one direction for the rest of its life so either a port is programmed in mode 1 input handshaking that means that port will be connected to an input device like a keyboard or a mouse so life long it will do input handshaking for the processor similarly a port can be programmed in mode 1 output handshaking mode that means life long it will only do output handshaking in mode 2 the final mode which is called bidirectional handshaking there is no better version of handshaking handshaking will happen the same way it happens in mode 1 the only thing is that the port can any time do input handshaking also as well as output handshaking it can rapidly switch between input output handshaking as as the, as the will of the programmer you can make it input for some time output for some time and vice versa whereas if a port is in mode 1 life long you've decided that this port is only going to handle input devices similarly if a port is in mode 2 life long it's going to work only for output devices if a port in, in mode 1 output but if a port is in mode 2 it can work for both input devices as well as output devices it can do handshaking for both but the method of doing handshaking is exactly the same as the way you do it in mode 1 so i'm going to teach you the whole concept of handshaking we're going to start with input handshaking first i'll show you all the signals involved then i'll show you the same thing in the form of a timing diagram which you need to draw when you're writing the answer you can't just write theory without the timing diagram the answer doesn't matter ma carry marks in fact in bombay university many a times the theory doesn't come at all they just ask you timing diagram for handshaking input as well as output same goes with output handshaking first i'll teach you the logic how it works the whole theory answer about it then i'll be showing you the same thing with the help of a timing diagram now one thing conspicuous by its absence in these timing diagrams normally when you think of a timing diagram the first thing that comes to your mind is t states timing diagrams are drawn with respect to t states t states is clock 8255 does not have a clock signal that's why there is no clock over here so that's why it is very important to understand how to draw these timing diagrams they follow a sequence i marked out the sequence of course when i teach you the steps you'll understand how the sequence is created and you're going to show that sequence in the timing diagram and finally i'll show you mode 2 where again as i said there's nothing new to learn in mode 2 mode 2 means you can do the port can do input handshaking also as well as output handshaking if you want simple examples suppose a port is created suppose in my computer i have created a port specifically for a keyboard only for a keyboard back in the day there were ports specifically for the keyboard specifically for the mouse etc today they you use usb universal serial bus so those usb ports are universal so they work everywhere and they were for all the devices but earlier back in the day i told you it's a very old answer back in the day uh, there were dedicated ports for various devices so if i have created a port only for a keyboard i know that for the rest of this life this port is only going to do inputs so why should i even provide output handshaking support so in that case i'll be using mode 1 input similarly if i have created a port specifically as for a speaker or for a uh, monitor or for a printer specifically for a pro monitor as an example then i know it is going to only do output handshaking then in that case i'll be doing mode 1 output where i'll be configuring it as an output port and using mode 1 so that i have only output support but support if suppose if i'm making a port for a pen drive as an example or a touch screen i know it is input also and output also then i can't use mode 1 then i'll be using mode 2 where any time it can do input handshaking as well as output handshaking so i'll be teaching all of these in detail 
I am sure by now you know these uh, videos, all of these, the full versions of all these videos are there on my website. You want to watch the whole video, please come to my website. It's called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com, the same name, name as the name of this channel. Uh, register in that website, there's a small payment. The payment is ridiculously low, it's come on, it's uh, nothing, 20 times lesser than what we ask, uh, what we charge in the classroom. So, because I want to make this available for everybody at the same time economically viable for us to even do this. So, anyway. Uh, you, all you need to do is make the payment and instantly the payment is less than $10 but it is going to increase 8086 channel is uh, nearing completion the moment it's completed the payments are, the charge is going to increase uh, you want to beat the price rise register fast 8085 this video is common for both 885 and 886 885 channel still is at the same price and will be at the same price for quite some time till the time I don't finish all the videos of that anyway uh, once you subscribe this uh, activation is imaged within a minute you can start watching bless in that instantly you can start watching the videos and you can watch the videos for the next six months unlimited number of times as many times as you want to and uh, learn as much as you can okay wish you all the best see you at my website bharatacharyaeducation.com okay let's start